Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Now today I'm going to be potting up or transplanting, I should say, my little tiny sawaru, kind of gigantia. Um, that's if, if I've said it right. Seedlings, and these are just over two years old. They were sown in February 2018, and these are these little tiny little cuties here. And I would have normally left them in the pot until they were getting a bit bigger before transplanting them. But because they were literally growing into each other, I had to separate them out of the pot. And I wasn't going to film it and I thought, they're so cute. Now I've got them out of the pot, I might as well just share this little potting up video. And before I go any further, I want to give a very special thank you to my wonderful fiance Hans, who is behind the camera filming me today. So I've got my hands free. So if you're not familiar with Hans's channel, do go over and subscribe. Um, family of uh, family of Cacti and Other Beauties links up above. So thank you, Hansie, for filming. <laughs> and also don't forget to sub subscribe to me as well. <laughs> and these are the little cuties. Now, these were seeds that I have were given to me from my friend Keith. Um, known as Groovy Man 19, 1967 or 1968 here on YouTube. It's not been on for a while, so I hope it's okay. But I sowed these seeds and quite a few germinated at the time. There was quite a lot. Um, sadly, sawaru seeds, when you sow them, apparently it's a good, good germination rate, but keeping them going long term, it's very difficult. And some of them just died back. I don't know what, what happened, but I've now got... Um, nine little seedlings that are, that are survived and they're doing pretty much okay. Very tiny, so say February 2018 is when I sowed them. They've got little roots on them. They're very, very fragile and um, the little spines on them. I do have um, a little sawaru that's about six years old that Keith also gifted to us probably about four or five years ago now, and that's growing really well. And I made a video when I repotted that last year, so I'll link that video as well at the end of this video if you want to see that little sawaru. And if you want to know how to grow cacti from seed, including sawarus, then do check out a video I have made on how to grow cacti from seed. Links up above. And here we, here we go then guys. Now, what I've done with, with the cactus mix, I've used an extra exceptionally well draining cactus mix because sawaru seedlings, as a lot of seedlings, but particularly with these sawaru seedlings, are very, very uh, prone to rot when they're so young. And as I say, I normally would have not transplanted them when they're still so small, even though they're over two years old, they're still very tiny. But because they were growing into each other in the little pot I had them in, I had to take them out. But say that the little roots are so delicate and what I've done here is I've used three equal parts of a loam based soil in this case I've used a John Innes number two and I've added um, lava rock and also pumice and the reason why I've used lava rock and pumice is because it's going to give it more aeration, extra drainage. And I just want to mention that the John Innes that I've used also has extra added sharp sand to it as well. So there's a lot of drainage in there and everyone has their own yeah. favourites when it comes to making cactus soil. I normally use three equal parts of loam, grit and sand. But in this case I've used, extra, I've used pumice and uh, lava because I want to give it very, very, very well drained. The ceilings are so fragile. So there we go, guys. I'm going to show you potting them up and uh, probably just a little bit halfway. As I say, the biggest thing with these seedlings, these are the smallest pots I could actually find, but because they are quite deep and seedlings, the, the roots are very small on them, if I put them into too deep of a pot or too big of a pot, that when it, it's not how careful I'd be with the watering, there's still a chance they could, the roots could rot. And once I've transplanted these, I'm going to be keeping them dry for about 10 days, probably give them a little bit of misting with a bit of water just to, to give them, stop them from drying out too much. Put them in a little bit of a semi-sun, semi-shaded place. And then after about 10 days, I'm going to start giving them a, a little bit more water as, uh, as usual. And uh, here we go. And I've only put a little bit of soil at the bottom there because, as I say, I don't want to put too much soil in while they still have little roots. And I've decided to put these four big ones here, like that. And what I'm going to do is probably, because it's difficult, I might do it one at a time here, so the very roots are very fragile on these. And uh, I'm going to hold that little one up there, put a bit of the 
we'll soil around. And obviously when you're handling ceilings, these are quite firm, but if you had ceilings with a very, very uh, limp roots, you have to be extremely careful how you hold these. But these are say well, over two years old and they're quite firm enough. So that's the first little one there. And then the next one, a little bit of a little spoon I've got there, a little rainbow spoon. Yeah, the second little one, just gently in there, and then just gently pressing the, the soil around. That's just come up, just showing you there, it's very... Yeah. <laughs> gently pressing it in, so I want to make sure that the roots are covered there. So. You don't want to press hard down because the roots are so delicate, you just want to very slightly press them down without pressing too hard. So a little two good dabbers there. And the other one in there. Just gently pushing the soil so the roots are still so fragile. So. And is to gently make sure the soil is all, all around in there and that's there to make sure that's a bit more soil all around that's the first little one's done and then with these here the first piggish one in first a bit more soil in these and as I say, there's a lot of soil for these tiny little seedlings with the, with the roots, but I'm going to be, probably when it comes to watering these, I'm going to be misting them just very carefully around the base of them, rather than just going ahead with the, with the water. But I have used an extremely well-draining um, cactus mix here, so it will dry out very quickly. it that's it done and obviously got the little label there Carnegie Gigantia from Arizona uh, February 2018 as I say I'm going to keep these dry now probably for about 10 days just mix them with a little bit of of water and then when I resume the water I'm just going to water it very slightly around the bases just until the roots get a bit more established on them and then I'll do an update on these cuties in the future so I hope you enjoyed that little transplanting my little Sawaru video guys I'm going to got quite a lot of larger seedlings in the pilot I'm going to be transplanting over the next few weeks as well and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video so guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to know a little bit more on growing cacti and succulents, please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Ding, ding. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus and plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. Bye from these little cuties.